Hey everyone, welcome back to another lecture of the series. Well, this video is in continuation with what we have discussed before in the context of ship's longitudinal stability. Before we proceed ahead deep into this, I just recommend you to go through the previous video in order to have more clarity about the content. Uh, for your reference, I'm gonna place the link in the description below. In our last lecture, we tried to understand something about the longitudinal metacenter and metacentric height. Here, we will be looking at some more concepts associated with ship's longitudinal stability. In this regard, we are first going to define the change of trim. We will also be deriving an expression for the same. Followed by, we will try to understand what exactly MCT by 1 cm is and its respective expression. We will then be looking at the determination of change in draft forward and aft. We will then be trying to understand how several problems are to be worked upon. And finally, in order to have more clarity on the same, we will go through an example. The longitudinal metacentric height is well defined as the vertical distance between point G that is center of gravity and point ML that is metacenter. Just the way we do it in transfer stability, metacentric height of the ship can be defined as KB plus BM minus KG. Just because we are now talking in the context of ship's longitudinal stability, GM will be replaced with GM longitudinal. We will use L as suffix over here. So GM longitudinal is the abbreviation used for longitudinal metacentric height. Now KB and KG, whether we are defining them in transfer stability or in longitudinal ship stability, they remain same. So we do not really need any special notation uh, for them. On the other hand, BM, which is the vertical distance between point B, center of buoyancy, and point M, that is metacenter. So in case of longitudinal ship stability, it will be the ratio of moment of inertia of load water plane about a transverse axis passing through center of flotation to the volume of displacement. Now, phi is let's say being the angle of trim. Just by looking at the triangle G, G1, M, L triangle, we can say that 10 phi is equals to G, G1 upon G, M longitudinal. But we are aware of that G, G1 is well expressed as M into D divided by delta. Here, I hope you still remember we were talking all about the effect of shifting of any particular mass onto the ship's trim. We shifted a particular mass all uh, towards the ship's stern and we realized that center of gravity shifted by an amount GG1 whose magnitude is well given by m into d divided by delta. Let us now substitute this GG1 in this expression and we will get 10 phi is equals to m into d divided by delta into gm longitudinal. Now, if you recall, this expression looks quite similar to what we obtained for angle of list in transfer ship stability. Now, here there arises an interesting part. A trim is also a permanent longitudinal inclination. So, there is only a difference of the direction. In the previous case, we were, we were having the transfer direction and now in this case, we are having the longitudinal direction. However, let us keep a note of this expression. This is going to be of use in our further calculations. Just because merely defining trim angle is not sufficient in longitudinal ship stability. We are rather supposed to look at what will happen to the draft forward and draft afts. Well, the drafts in the forward and aft are to be measured at FP and AP respectively. Let us now do some construction in the diagram. We will draw a horizontal line parallel to the original water line passing through point L1. 
this is let's say intersecting the after perpendicular at a point r the initial and the final water lines being intersecting with ap and fp at w l and w1 l1 points now change in trim all along ship's length can be well expressed as w1 w plus l1 l just because when your ship is floating on the new water line w1 l1 there has occurred an increase in the draft by an amount w1 w it is somewhere in the aft and there is a decrease in the draft by an amount l1 l somewhere in the forward their summation will be equals to w1 r w1 r can now be expressed as small t upon 100 where small t is the change in trim all along ship's length in centimeters well why exactly we are doing so just because the change in trim usually remains of a smaller value expressing the same in meters is not convenient for us so it is of more use if we express the same in centimeters now looking at the triangle w1 r l1 we can say tan phi is equals to w1 r upon r l1 r l1 is equals to ship's length we are considering length between perpendiculars and w1 r can be replaced with t upon 100 so finally tan phi would become equals to t upon 100 l c we have also defined an expression for tan phi before let us equate these two expressions together t upon 100 l is equals to m into d upon delta into g m longitudinal we will now be simplifying this expression for the determination of small t small t is change of trim all along ship's length in centimeters so small t becomes m into d into 100 l divided by delta into g m longitudinal this is something which is going to help you out in working upon several problems you should remember this expression now we are proceeding on to a new term called as mct by 1 centimeter moment required to change the ship's trim by 1 centimeter see it is after all the moment caused by the shifting of mass which is causing the ship to have a change of trim m into d is being that moment here we are interested in the determination of this moment which will cause anyhow a change in trim equals to 1 centimeter let us substitute t is equals to 1 centimeter and let, let us just simplify this expression for the determination of m into d what we will see that m into d is equals to delta into g m l upon 100 l which will be of course equals to mct by 1 centimeter so finally the expression for mct is delta into g m longitudinal upon 100 l this is also you should remember and it is going to be of help now again i am writing the generalized expression for change in trim the same can alternatively be written as m into d divided by delta into gml divided by 100 l whatever we have got in the denominator in this case is well equivalent to mct by 1 centimeter so this generalized expression can also be written as change in trim is equals to the amount of trimming moment it is experiencing divided by mct by 1 centimeter looking at several triangles now triangle w1 r l1 triangle w1 w f triangle and triangle l1 l f triangle all these three triangles have at least two angles two corresponding angles equal to one another hence these three triangles are similar to each other means means their dimensions will be their corresponding dimensions will be in a specific proportion what we can say the ratio of w1 r to length of the ship will be equal to 
W1 W divided by WF. We are actually correlating these two triangles, the bigger triangle and the smaller triangle here. Now let us correlate another two triangles, the bigger one and the smaller one on the other side. We can say W the ratio of W1 R to ship's length will now be equals to L1 L upon LF. We are aware of that W1 R is nothing but change in trim all along ship's length. We can alternatively replace the same with small t. For the determination of change in draft aft, we are supposed to simplify this expression for W1 W. And similarly, for the determination of change in trim forward, we are supposed to have the value of L1 L. So W1 W can be expressed as T upon L into WF and L1 L is equals to T upon L into LF. I hope just by looking at the uh, presentation, it is quite understandable how it comes like that. You should remember these two expressions and they are going to help you in the determination of change in trim aft and forward. Let us now try to understand how exactly you will be working upon several problems. Let's say you have been given with a case where you are adding any mass on to the ship. We will first be determining the bodily sinkage all because of addition of that mass on to the center of flotation. This is uh, calculated by m upon tpc where m is the magnitude of mass added. This gives you the change in draft in centimeters. We will now be shifting that mass to its final designated position. We will see how much distance it covers in that direction and we will then determine the change of trim. Change of trim is determined by m into d divided by uh, sorry m into d into 100 l divided by delta into gm longitudinal. Now it's time to determine change in trim forward and aft. L1 L and W1 W will be determined. And finally it's time to determine final drafts. They can be determined by adding the bodily sinkage in the original values and by either adding or subtracting the change in trim forward and aft as the case may be. Now let's say we are having this example. A ship of 5000 ton displacement 96 meter long floats at drafts of 5.6 meter forward and 6.3 meter aft. The TPC is 11.5 ton, GM longitudinal is 105 meters and center of flotation 2.4 meter aft of midship. We will have to first determine the MCT by 1 centimeter and then the new end drafts when 88 ton are added 31 meter forward of midship. Let us uh, understand that this is how the case would be in its initial condition. This is being the midship. This is being the positioning of center of flotation 2.4 meter aft of midship. The mass is being placed somewhere in the forward at a distance 31 meter we will first assume that mass has been placed on the center of flotation and then shifted to its final designated position. The total distance covered by the mass would become 31 plus 2.4. Part A is very easy. It just needs simple substitution. M the expression for MCT is delta into GM longitudinal divided by 100 L. Delta is given to us. GM longitudinal is also given to us and length of the ship has also been given to us. So this is simply giving us 54.6875 ton meters as the value of MCT by 1 centimeter. Let us now move on part B. The bodily sinkage will be determined by dividing total mass added with the TPC which is coming to us as 7.65 centimeters. Now change in trim is expressed by M into D divided by MCT. Magnitude of that mass is 88 ton. The total distance covered is 31 plus 2.4 and MCT is 54.6875. This is giving us 53.74 centimeters 
as the change in trim by the head now how exactly we come to know whether it is uh, the change in trim by the head we have uh, shifted apparently the mass towards forward and this is why it is creating axis moment forward and hence causing the ship to change its trim by the head now change in trim aft and forward will be determined by uh, the expressions as i stated earlier small t upon l into lf and small t upon l into uh, wf okay these are the expressions fl and wf distances will be determined you, you see if you look at the diagram you will get to understand that uh, we have to either add the value of 2.4 in half of ship's length or we need to subtract it in order to have the values of lf and wf respectively final drafts will be the original draft plus the bodily sink case and c l1 l is going to be the increase in draft that's why we are adding it and then w1 w is being the decrease in draft in the aft and that's why 0.2552 has been subtracted one important note you should make out over here we are supposed to keep units of all these figures same the drafts have been expressed in meters so it is uh, uh, good to have the values of change in trim forward and aft in meters only and also the value of bodily sinking so this is how we can end up getting the final values of drafts in the forward as well as in the aft